Spanish last year. What have, what have you seen from him this offseason, and what are you looking forward to seeing from him this spring? I would say he's made great strides. We're all going down right now. Somebody's got to get ready to play, so he's been he's coming along very well. What's the biggest thing you're hoping to take from this spring? Um, the biggest thing I'm hoping to take from this spring is just basically like just 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 create that 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 persona, man. Like that that defense. I know we can be. I know we're going to be. Just create our identity. Have you gotten to know Trey Scott at all in, in the winter conditioning, uh, kind of his personality? I know he didn't coach you per se, but right. what kind of uh, addition is he to the staff and what you've experienced? Um, from what I've seen to him, I talked to a lot of the D-line guys. They love him. Um, the, all the interactions I've had with him, he seems like a pretty good dude, and I'm ready for what, whatever he has to bring to us. So. I think is it from a continuity standpoint that coach, for the most part, all coaches are coming back and you guys are going into your second spring as opposed to this time last year when Maybe you didn't know what to expect from those guys on the field. It's definitely big because it's the same people. You know what you know what they want. You know what they want out of you. They, they now not only us, but they have a better feel for you as a player as well. So you now we can both play to each other's strengths.